Hello, I am Nina Marler. I'm a mama of four and a beginner, intermediate-ish watercolor artist. And today we're gonna paint a quick little acorn doodle. Um, these would be super fun as like a thank you note, um, put it on a card, or these are lunch lunchbox snack notes for my kiddos. So just a simple, easy, no stress little watercolor doodle. I am using my Let's Make Art pan paint set in a round six, any black pen. Um, you'll need a pencil for our quick sketch. We're gonna sketch it out together in the beginning. A clean cup of water and paper towel. Any watercolor paint set will work. You just need three primary colors. We're gonna use red, blue, and yellow, and we're gonna mix a brown. Actually, we're gonna mix two browns together. We're gonna mix one more tan brown and one more purpley, darker brown. Okay, I'm going to first sketch out um, an acorn shape and then we will mix our browns and then we will paint. So I'm gonna just kind of, here's the first one that I did. I'm just gonna kind of make a little bit of a circle shape around and then the bottom of the acorn, there's like a little point. Don't stress out about this drawing. And I'm gonna draw the top, the cap, to the acorn. And I kind of round, just like slightly round it right there. This is just a little doodle, so it's not to be stressful. And I round it up. And all of mine, they're all, they've all turned out different. And I kind of like that. Um, I think I kind of want this going straight up less rounded in okay and then there's a little oop, little like handle okay if you want you could even do like a rough where you're gonna put the eyeballs okay great now we're gonna mix our brown and I did two different browns <clears throat> I did a more yellowy brown and then like a more purpley red darker brown Okay, so I just think it's helpful to kind of distinguish um, that there's two different parts to the acorn. So um, to get brown, you can mix purple and yellow together. If you don't have purple, how do you, how do you, what two colors do you use to make purple? Blue and red, right? So we can mix some blue and red together to make our purple. And then I will just add a little bit of yellow to it, okay? And the more yellow I put in there, it's gonna be um, the kind of more tanny yellow color. That bar that needle gave you. Okay, my tanny brown is mixed and I kind of left some glare spots, oops, sorry, some glare spots on this acorn and one side is lighter than the other. So we're gonna put our paint down over on one side and then kind of use clean water and spread it out and bring it across the acorn, okay? I kind of left some glare spots there too. So, this probably won't be enough paint, so I'm gonna mix just a teensy bit more. I have one baby, well, I have two babies down for naps. One I think is awake, and then I have one watching a little show for an afternoon rest. Um, and it's kind of cloudy, it's been raining here today. Mm, okay, when I add a little more yellow, it's a little more tan. So here we go. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put my paint, the darkest side I want for mine to be on this left side. And underneath the cap, right? And now you're gonna, um, once you lay down the darkest parts, you're gonna use clean water. So you're gonna dip your brush in your water cup, hit it off the side of the cup and then you're just gonna spread it out with just the water. Okay, that's from your brush. 
You can leave a couple spots without any paint. Like those are your glare spots if you want. And I think I'm gonna do a second pass here. So I'm gonna mix a little bit more paint. There's my yellow. Here's some blue. Here's some purple. Cause remember purple and yellow make brown. But say you don't have any purple, I'm making purple by mixing my blue and my red. Um, depending on your blue and red is kind of how bright and how dull your purple's gonna be. And I add just an extra little bit of yellow to get me that like more tannish yellow brown that I'm looking for for the bottom part of the acorn. Okay, so here I am just spreading it out. I'm gonna rinse my brush hit it off the side of the cup. And now with just clean water, I'm gonna spread out the rest of that color. Okay, now we're gonna wanna let it dry. And it's not perfect, it's not gonna be exactly even. While the bottom part dries, we don't wanna paint the cap yet because if we paint the cap and it's touching this part, this part's still wet and it'll just bleed into the cap and the cap color will just bleed into the bottom. So we have to let this fully dry but we could go ahead and um, mix the brown we're gonna use for the top. Sorry, I just feel like I need an, a little bit more color right here to just show there's a shadow from the cap there, okay? And the water's gonna like bleed and blend and I think that's fun. I like that um, part of watercolor, but if you don't like that, I mean, you can kind of go back over it a little bit with a clean brush. Okay, so I'm gonna mix um, this more like purpley darker brown and it's really just adding less yellow and kind of more red and blue to my brown color so here's some red here's some yellow okay here's some blue i'm gonna add a little more red your brown's gonna look different than mine because you are mixing um you have different paints so you're mixing different colors um, which is fine. So here it is. It's like a dark chocolatey kind of brown. I like that. It's kind of got a little tiny bit of a purple hue to it. And that is what I'm going to um, paint the cap with. But I have to let this bottom part completely dry first. I'm still using my round six. And I'm going to kind of keep the, this is dry now. I'm going to kind of keep the most of the, the darkest part of the paint down here at the bottom of the cap and kind of use water to pull it up. You see there's like a couple of little like glare spots on this one that I did and I like the look of that. So I'm kind of gonna go off of that. This is with my darker brown. Kind of just following what I drew here at the bottom. I haven't rinsed my brush yet. Okay, now I'm rinsing my brush. I'm getting the excess water off the side of the cup and just using that to spread out the color, kind of bring the color up a little bit. I'm gonna pick up some more color and kind of do a second layer down here. I like the way um, the water kind of captivates the paint and like brings it around, creates blooms and just fun textures where the water is just spreading out the color. I enjoy that. Um, if you don't, use less water. And I'm gonna paint the tiny little like handle or top. And it is okay if this part right here gets darker um, because that's, I feel like, would create a shadow anyways from the sun um, from this little guy right here, so. I'm just gonna do another little bit of really concentrated color here. I'm kind of helping the paint spread, helping it along, kind of leaving some parts um, lighter. <clears throat> okay, now that since this part is dry, we can let the cap dry. We can do another layer and darken it up if we want. Um, the bottom part, you can do another layer of that tan, yellow, brown, if you want, or you can leave it. This is just a doodle. Um, 
So I'm gonna take my pin. This is a 005 micron pin. Use whatever tin, black ink. If you don't want it black, whatever you want. And I'm gonna draw two big circles. I'm not gonna worry about leaving any white um, because I have some bleed proof white and I'm gonna add in just a little glare spot afterwards. If you don't have bleed proof white, um, you could always just leave a little piece blank an extra little circle in there when you're drawing in your eyes. It's up to you. So I'm just going to do two circles. They don't have to be exactly the same. Remember, this is just a doodle. And fill it in. And I like the mouth. I like it pretty close. I think it look, makes it look cuter and like more cartoony for the mouth to be pretty close to the eyes and like up higher. So I do like that. And then you can take your round six again and just like the tiniest, tiniest, lightest bit of red. So it's really like a really light pink. You can draw in like little cheeks, two little circles. It'll show up just, I mean, there's not that much pigment there, okay? cute. And then um, I'm going to take my blue proof white and I am going to use oops, a smaller brush. This is my round two, but just any smaller brush. I'm just going to get the tiniest bit of white on there and I'm just going to put it kind of up on the top right corner here. Just a little boop. That's it. Okay. Rinse my brush. Don't forget that those little cheeks are still wet. Uh-oh, I think I got some of that blue proof white in there. Well, I'm gonna leave it and let it dry and then I'll pick up, do you see that? Some of this blue proof white dripped out onto my painting. No big deal, I'll just wait till it's dry and then I will lift that out. Um, I think this cap, I'm gonna go ahead and do an extra layer. I just want it a little darker, okay? So mixing red and some blue and some more yellow. A little more red, a little more yellow. Still seems a little blue to me, so I'm gonna add a lot more red. Okay, now it's too red. <laughs> it's really just about playing and kind of getting your mix, the color that you want, okay? There we go. See how it's kind of like a plum color? You see that? It's right here. All right. Ooh, it's almost black. That's fine, fine with me. It's kind of dark. All right, I'm just kind of putting that really dark color along the bottom and on the little doop, little guy. I'm gonna rinse my brush and just kind of tap off the excess water and spread that around. Sometimes when I do that, I feel like um, the part that I use the water on got too light. So when that happens, you'll see me pick up more color and kind of drop it in. Okay, kind of like fix that. And that's it. That's your cutie little like lunch note acorn guy for fall. Um, I like to write little notes on the back, okay, for their lunch, but it's just a fun little way to like celebrate whatever season we're in and a little treat for their day, the kiddos day in their lunchbox. Um, but I mean, you could totally write this on a cute little card for a neighbor or a friend, um, a thank you card, a hello card, um, anything like that. But um, tag me, let me know if you guys try and paint this. I hope you enjoyed painting this cute little acorn doodle.